Let's state for the record about Dana Ireland. Um, Dana Ireland was murdered, I believe, in 1991. Three men went up for her murder. One of the Schweitzer brothers ratted out the other two. Uh, Frank Pauline Jr. gave a detailed um, description of the events of that evening. They both got, uh, I think it's Ian Schweitzer and Pauline Jr. both got over 100 years in prison. Um, neither of their DNAs were on her body, but the fact of the matter is, there were three other men there. They weren't innocent of that, of that crime, and that could be only supported by the fact that the Schweitzer guy tried to get one of these liberal lawyers to get him out, um, saying that his DNA was on her body, and 24 hours later, Frank Pauline Jr. was taken out in a hit in a prison yard in New Mexico. Um, and you haven't heard anything from the Schweitzer brothers since then. Um, the fact is, let's get the facts on, let's get the facts straight, is that there were three other men that night. They were highly connected with the syndicate and the EMS guys who were, the city was sued because they took four hours to get to the body. Um, she was going in and out of consciousness, even with a cracked open skull. Um, but they were waiting till she died. So, the fact is, the EMS guys and the police that day should have been charged with murder. They should have been charged with Dana Ireland's murder. That's the facts. And that's one of the reasons that they don't want me out here. They don't want me talking. They don't want it all exposed, because the case should be reopened. And it should be thoroughly investigated for who was involved and at least try to bring the people who the monsters who murdered that poor young woman to justice.